going on guys welcome back to another brand new division video and today we are going to be comparing the mp5 smg alongside with the ump 45 smg so before we do actually get in the video if you guys enjoy this video in any way or it helps you guys maybe figure out what weapon you guys want to use more or if you guys want to use both make sure you guys drop a like on the video if we go for 20 likes on this video that'd be awesome as well as make sure to smash that subscribe button if you guys are new you guys are looking for more division videos make sure to hit that subscribe button comment down below what gun you guys like more but without further ado let's get right in the video so the mp5 probably one of the most used guns and the um 45 probably the most one of the used I guess you could say new DLC weapons I don't really know what to call like those weapons that are added to the game I guess they're technically DLC weapons but they didn't really come with the DLC so I don't know I'll just call them DLC weapons but anyways uh, these two guns are actually really really similar other than maybe like two different statistics on these weapons uh, comparing them obviously these weapons are extremely extremely comparable I would say uh, and that's because they're both SMGs and I think that they have similar uh, obviously similar statistics to make them uh, both very very unique weapons and very uh, pretty decently good weapons to use in PvE or PvP uh, depending on what you guys like to play more but First off, we're going to compare the MP5, we're going to say most of the good things on it, and then maybe a few bad things that I can find, and then we'll go over to the UM45 and talk about that as well. So, the MP5, first of all, uh, you guys can see that it has a definitely higher fire rate than the UM45. It has a 800 fire rate. Now, obviously, guys, I'm using all base stuff. There's no attachments or anything on these weapons. I want to have complete base. I didn't want to have like attachment on one gun and then have one on the other, so uh, I just went with no base damage on these, or no attachment so it's just base damage as well guys we're not going to talk about the rolls on either of the weapons because obviously i have like the best mp5 you can get in the game i think like just about the best gun you can get in the game for the mp5 uh but the m45 is pretty decently good but we're not going to talk about the rolls so uh next obviously the base damage is a little bit lower uh obviously comparing it to something like the ump as well as the recoil is just a tiny bit a tiny bit higher uh obviously it even says the accuracy is a little bit lower on the uh I'm um, 45. Uh, I still think the recoil is just a little bit uh, higher or just a little bit less manageable on the MP5 comparing it to the ump. As well, uh, not that this really matters that much, but I still wanted to throw it in there because it is a stat on the weapon. Uh, the magazine size is actually a 32 compared to a 30 on the police um 45. So if you guys maybe have a you know like 107.5% magazine, uh, it may, might be like maybe an extra four bullets on the MP5 compared to the ump. So just keep that uh, in your mind. Now onto the M45, uh, obviously you guys can see that the fire rate is a bit lower than the MP5. You guys can definitely say that uh, the fire rate is 200 lower as well as the magazine obviously like I said before is too lower. But since the fire rate is lower, obviously you guys can see that the base damage on this weapon is significantly higher than the ump or some significantly higher than the MP5. So obviously slower fire rate equals more damage, but Higher fire rate equals a little bit less damage. Obviously, you guys get the point from that. Obviously, if you guys can see very, very closely on the police ump, or just the ump 45, uh, the reload speed is just a tiny bit faster. Uh, you guys might not be able to see it on your screen, but it's just like a like 2% faster than the ump, than the MP5. So obviously, the ump reloads 2% faster than the MP5. And like I said before, uh, I think the recoil on this gun, since it shoots slower, is a little bit more manageable to you know use. Uh, that's just me personally. You guys maybe not agree with me or something, but uh, for the most part, obviously there's no attachment, so the recoil is just going to be a little, little bit uh, harder to manage on both the weapons. Obviously, like you guys will see, uh, I'll do a test on both of these guns so you guys can see. Uh, I'm just straight shooting it all the way up. I'm not holding anything up, but you guys can see right here that this is the recoil just like burst firing the MP5. And there you guys can see the you guys see the um 45 right here uh this gun doesn't really have any uh recoil honestly and this is with no attachments if you guys were looking to have like take all, like all the recoil away or have like a uh significantly chance of you know obviously handling this weapon without it flying in the air uh, i'd recommend running like a two-piece striker or something maybe or something that gives you stability or accuracy uh, i'd recommend you guys running that you guys don't have to but uh it'll help out your guys actually a little bit if you guys want to try that out but yeah guys this is like the most in-depth that i can figure out how to make these two weapons comparable uh if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like on it if you guys want me to compare any other weapons uh i'm gonna probably do a pair of ars next if i can get my hands on lvoec and m4 uh, you guys can bet that i'll be doing a comparison on that but other than that guys drop a like if you guys enjoyed it subscribe if you guys need i'll catch you guys next video
Peace out.